Hey Tad, hey, welcome to your uh, first tutorial for updating your uh, schedule here. So um, my recommendation would be uh, to open up two tabs in your browser. First one would be bullyingfcr.ca which is the front end website, the website that everybody can see. Um, so you just uh, go on the presentation and schedule and you'll land on this page. And the second tab would be uh, bullyingfcr.ca slash administrator. Uh, you'll, you'll see like I've sent everything into the the attached files. Uh, you've got the files um, of the, the Word document that defines your uh, few password in your website. So basically you enter username and password here and you just click login. So here you land into the Joomla administration section which is uh, the, your uh, CMS, so the content management system that, that will provide you the ability to update your site um, whatever you like, however you want. So let's focus first on the schedule because that's uh, what's important for you right now. So we're going to go to components, gevents, gevents, and we're going to click on uh, manage events. So here, this is all the events that I've entered myself, right? So the green is for availability, basically, and the, the red are for presentation. It's fairly easy. So what you want to do is basically you can just duplicate uh, whatever you like. So right now, uh, do we have like a sorting? I think it's sorted two times. So from the oldest to the newest. Yes, I think that's how it's sorted. So it's it's good because because you want to enter like the past events. Uh, it's good to duplicate either the first one, which is a red or a green one. But I guess. You won't duplicate the green one because it's the past, so like nobody cares of your availability or your past availability. What you are going to duplicate is um, a presentation one. So um, okay, let's let's go into your um, oh the old website is no longer available online for now. Um, let's say you have like a, you had like a presentation on um, Decem December twentieth, twenty twelve. Let's take this example. I'm going to click on the presentation here, which corresponds to the uh, October 5th. I'm going to duplicate this one, so copy and edit. Click there. And now there's two things you need to change. So the category is not available, which is obviously we're going to keep this one. What you want to do is just duplicate the location here. Uh, sorry, edit the location here. So I'm going to click on uh, Example location, let's call it this way. So here you can put like the name of the school or the name of the the venue you were you you like been doing the presentation. And on calendar, we're just gonna select the time basically. So here you see uh, like for each um, event, I've selected all the events. Because you don't know, like you don't have, you know, I, unless I'm wrong, you don't have like 20 events or 20 presentations per day, right? You have one presentation per day. So I just keep it simple. Instead of you to enter a start and end time, if you click this one, which is gonna be by default, if you copy and edit an existing event, then you only need to change is the date. So we're gonna click there. And okay, so we said 2012 December. I'm uh, going to click on 20th. Okay, and here we just want to copy paste. So Control C and you select this one. Oh, you can't. Okay, so you have to go back and click on 12, 12 December 20th. There you go. I would suggest you start with the oldest event because when you're going to duplicate it, when you're going to update the start dates, it's going to automatically update the end date. Here it's not doing it because the start date is older than the current end date. But when you're gonna create uh, an older event, I think it's gonna it's gonna change. Like if you duplicate this one, for example, and you create an event which is after uh, December twentieth, twenty twelve, um, it will be easier because you you won't have to uh, to update the end dates uh, each time. I think so. Let's give it a try. Uh, so when you're done doing this, just click on save. Oh, sorry, just click save and close. This way it's going to be like faster. Okay, and now we should have our event somewhere. 
Okay, let's sort the event by time sheet. Let's click on there. So here it's sorted. Oh, oh, I didn't change the date, did, did I? Good mm, doubt now. Oh, hide past events. No, it's because here we got to hide past events to yes. So let's click that on no. There, there you go. Okay, that's the one I've just created here. First row. And now if I go back to here, normally if I go back to, uh, okay, by a year, let's click there. By year, I want to go in 2012. Events for 2014. Uh, maybe I can't like on on this uh, on this view. Let's go back to by month. Okay. Um, monthly view. Let's try to go back here. Try. I mean, it's pretty uncommon to, I mean, to browse to the past, right? But uh, if this is what you want, let's try to do it. February, January, December. I'm going to the past. Let's go to there you go. It's number 2012, and that's the one I've created. Okay, so presentation, example, location. Okay, so if you put the proper, I mean, location, I mean, you'll be able to uh, to have something here. So basically, you can do the same for the future events. Okay, you can duplicate either presentation if you already have a presentation in the future, like in 2015, for example. Or if you want to add like to add another availability on let's say I don't know so we got the last one I think is last one is like uh, December 20th 2014 let's say you want to create one on the January 15th uh, 2015 then just gonna click on this one just copy and edit and now the only thing we need to change because I mean the like available for category and summary area that's what we want category it's available calendar just gonna like select January 15th uh, which is gonna click the 15th of January and uh, we're just gonna click on save and now if I go back to oh yeah but um, okay, let's go back to schedule here there you go and now go to October November, December, January, and there you go. You got your uh, you got your uh, new availability showing up here. All right, so it's uh, as you can see, it's not like extremely difficult. It's just uh, a little bit time consuming because uh, you have to create like all your availability and all your uh, past events one by one. I mean, there's no way. I mean, the calendar can can like. Imagine what you, what was your availability or what was your presentation. So this is the reason you have to do that one by one. Um, all right, let's cancel. Let, let's delete the one I've just created because they're not really relevant. So this one we're gonna delete this event. Uh, trash. I'm gonna select it and trash it. And here I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna click on trash. There you go. Uh, if you need to access the, uh, let's give it a try here. Old, uh, I think I, like I had to cancel the the website builder, so I don't think it's gonna work. But never know. Yeah, it's not working. If you need to access the old website, I've done a backup before shutting it down, uh, just in case. Uh, so if you need to access it, I don't know to have like a review of your past presentation. If you, if your like only support was the website, uh, I can totally like put back the website live to like a temporary address, for example. 
Um, so just let me know if you need that. Uh, I can like just upload. Actually, I can just upload the appropriate pages, like the um, presentation schedule pages, uh, if you need them. Uh, just let me know. And uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you, Ted. Bye bye.